I like the way that the space is looking on this. What's up, you guys? This is Kid the Dawn here today. So as you see, we have been doing our Land of Goshen campaign growing in our garden here in Baltimore, Maryland. And I've been afforded the opportunity to get land here in North Carolina. So I've been building a tiny home and in the process of waiting for that to be done, I got a RV. So let's go RV camping today. It's a 17R where it's like, there's just a rear bathroom, bigger bathroom. Okay. So it's kind of, it's the same camper, just that's the difference. Well, I do have my seven year old son, so. Okay. That, um, I guess we can see how that looks as well. You probably want the bunk bed. Yeah, that's what I, I think that's what I seen in the picture, the one with the bunk bed. Yeah. So, that's kind of what we're looking at. Yeah. They put the table down. This is a dinette table. Okay. They put it down, it turns into a bed, as you can see. Interesting. I didn't, okay. Yeah, so then you got your queen bed there. That would be your bunks. You have your refrigerator, your bathroom here. You know, microwave. Sweet deal. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a nice little electric Spacious. Space. For I how like small it is, it's pretty, pretty roomy. Yeah. I did not expect that. Oh, yeah. It's got some storage in here. Yeah. Like, you know, it's got storage under the bunks as well. You can see under there. Okay. And this is the one with the bigger bathroom, or no? It's not the, that this one. This is the one with the smaller bathroom. Okay. Because the bunks are in the back. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Interesting. I like that. Okay. And then the table just lift. Yeah, so there's like poles right there, you see them? Mm -hmm. It just folds up and the table just lifts and it's just chairs and the table. Like a booth. Gotcha, kind of thing. gotcha. Yeah. You got your ACs up in there yeah, on the side. Yeah, see a little. And we can take a look at 17R so you can kind of compare the yeah. difference too. Because you know, you have your 7 year old son. That's for sure. I'm over here and I didn't. I didn't want to put you on the video, so. <laughs> I love this. This is decent. Seventeen R. The one with the bigger bathroom and no bunks. Gotcha. Okay. Mm. The bed's a little different space mm. this way instead of like in the corner. That still turns into a bed. They put mm. it down again. <laughs> I don't know where you put anything down. Interesting. And then you can go look at the bathroom. You can see the difference, how it's bigger. But I like how I can see this. So yeah. these just come off like little pads. Yeah, okay. and then that okay. table will come up so Got you can you. actually sit. Okay, yeah. I thought, okay, I don't know what I thought. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you kind of have see. the same situation going on here with the fridge and the fireplace just on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. I definitely have to turn on the, uh, open the, open the top of the window for me. Oh, I'm yeah. a little tall for this. For the, yeah. But this is a little bit more spacious. Yeah, it's got a little more space to it. A little bit more. It's not bad. And wire for solar. Okay. I'm making a lease book. And so. So as you see, you guys. We have land now. We've had it since May. I've been quiet about it. I've talked about it on Facebook a little bit, but mainly I've been trying to get uh, my tiny home together, but it's taken a lot of inspections. It's taken a lot of work and things of getting done, um, but I still have my passion to be in the farm, to be with my animals, to be out here and showing you guys how to get it done. Um, so I've been contacting other people, working with other farms, getting animals such as rabbits, having my chickens, my quail 
and I've been really growing on um, my curriculum and my knowledge so that I can be able to help you guys and provide a proper sustainable value for you all okay so land of Goshen uh, is not just um, a phase or a thing it's a mindset it's a mentality it's a way of living understanding that you can live and not be affected by anything that's going on to be able to provide your own food to provide your own um, resources that you need for life I mean honestly everything that we need is in God and as long as you are in him whatever you need will be provided and so we lack nothing we care for nothing we want for nothing um, our food is healthy it comes from the ground um, some of us may call this a lion's diet um, but this is such a great way um, to be connected not just um, like I said with others but with yourself and understanding where your food comes from growing it raising it seeing it hand one-on-one -on -one, feeding it healthily no dyes no things that are affecting you and then eventually as you do the good work it becomes bigger than you so land of goshen nigeria is something that has been really firing me up and having me inspired and geared up because people are inspired in other places and seeing the things that i'm doing seeing the work that i'm doing in baltimore as well as north carolina now and they are just excited and they want to be a part so in nigeria we are working on clearing land and preparing um, rice farms and a pig farm and some fruit some few other things and so i'm just excited because this has become bigger than me this turned out from a passion of mine what was a passion of mine something that i love to do i love gardening i love animals i love um just being you know connected with what god has already given us he has given us so much and as long as we tap into that we can lack for nothing i told you the land of goshen you guys all right so like I said, this was just an episode to show you all me going to get a camper so that I can be out here on my land. I'm so grateful to have a legacy mindset, building a legacy, building, having land, having properties, having business, having where we can pass down deeds, keys, and LLCs. That's my goal, and I want to be able to take you guys on the journey as well. You can do it. I'm not even 30 yet. I'm almost 30. But if I can do it, you can do it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Put your hole in me. I pull it slowly. Send it on on board my feet. All this jewelry, they gon' notice me. And you know I got that roll on me. I pull it slowly.